So I watched what is probably one of my, you see, I don't want to do this because I'm going to oversell it and then you're going to watch it. Do it, man. That's the point of being in the moment. Here's the thing. Yeah. So Coherence is a Mm. 2013 sci-fi horror horror film, kind of. Um, 50K budget. Okay. So this was like an indie thing. Just real quick, I'll read out the the little blurb here on Letterboxd. On the night of an astronomical anomaly, eight friends at a dinner party experience a troubling chain of reality-bending events. Okay, 89 minutes. Directed by James Ward Burkitt is his name. In and out, bang, 90 minutes. Let me tell you something. You put people in a dinner party, I'm there. (laughs) I'm there, right? Favorite dinner party movie? Ooh, this one. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Bro, wow. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say I'm gonna be I'm gonna be outrageous. I'm gonna be uh, over the top. If this movie came out this year, <laughs> I would wholeheartedly expect it to be in my top ten, maybe even top five. Wow. It is okay. one of those films you what need year to this ride again? with. Twenty thirteen. Okay. And it's mm-hmm. shot in certain ways where you go, oh yes, it's an indie movie. Um the, 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 I've never, I don't know, never is a lot. Never is a big word. I'll say, I'll say it's rare to see this much from this little. And it just reminds me of why I love like short stories mm-hmm. or I love parables or I love like little things like that. that can just, just hit you. Right, and that this is one of those movies, man. And it took me back. I told Chris this, like, it took me back to when I was like fourteen, when I didn't know about Metacritic, I didn't know about <laughs> no Rotten Tomatoes and shit. Yeah. Where it would just be like, you read the summary of a movie, like a little blurb, and you're like, yo, that sounds crazy. Let's watch it. And you watch it, you're like, that was amazing. Wow, what a great premise, <laughs> right? And you're, and you know, wow, you're you're like changed now because yeah. you're 14, and anything can have an impression on you, right? Yeah. But fast forward all those years, and that can't happen as often. So the fact that I got it with this, I was blown away. So I'd I had such fun with it, and I've never, never, probably. At least, let's say in the last five years. Let's call it the last five years because again, never is a big word. I've I haven't been as uncomfortable as I was after this movie. Damn. In and at least the least five years, bro. I went to bed and I was getting random goosebumps. Okay. Ooh. And now, like you were you were scared. Like I was scared. Like I was like looking at doors and shit. Oh, okay. like no, I was looking no, at doors clipped. and shit, bro. It's clipped. Like <laughs> window <laughs> shades drawn, covers over bro. the entire head. I'm telling you, man, I went to bed and I'm like, I just need to sleep. I just need to sleep <laughs> and I just need to sleep. It'll all be better tomorrow. Because it's so unsettling, brother. It's wow. unbelievable. And I, I, you know, maybe it's more about the fear of the thing mm. in me personally, because I think it also is a part of that. Like, mm. it's, it's one of these movies where I, I finish and I went... So that's a thing I'm really scared of. Like, I'm new really scared of... Yeah, new fear. Yeah. Yes. Like, now <laughs> if you ask me, I'm like, bang, it's this thing. So I'm not <laughs> going to say it to ruin it. But it's streaming. It's streaming in places. Uh, you go watch it. I know some of you tried to watch it this week. I can't recommend it enough. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if it'll live up to whatever the hell I just said, but I, I personally okay. had that amazing reaction to it. Question for you. I saw it has, like, yeah. the box office was, like, 140K. Right? Yeah, like this was yeah, very small. Yeah. Why yes. do you think? And I'm the reviews are good for it. Yeah. Why do you think it yes. didn't get as much traction as it probably should have? 2013, man. Like I don't know what was going on in 2013, but like I know, for example, if you showed me this movie and told me to go watch it in theaters at the time, I'm probably not going. I think we're in a different landscape of like going to the movie theater. Um, and I, I don't know what kind of you know release it had. I don't know who was responsible for it. Like we have things like it's neon now, awesome and Oscar, yeah, man, who knows? What yeah. That is. Like eight two four, like yeah. if it had that branding, for example, yeah. I think it would have done so so well. Because especially now, I think there's like a, a bit of a thirst for kind of weird movies like that. Right. Um, it makes you think, man. Like Baba Duke and films like that that were like independent mm-hmm. but, and tiny budget, but still like yeah. somehow hit the rounds and hit the mainstream. Did a really good job. But and it, and it always made me think like the really good ones are going to catch on and right. people are going to watch them. But this makes me think. How many of these like no. really good movies yeah. are stuck because maybe they came out during the time when a, a massive yeah. film came out or something like that? I mean, there's so many things that have to go right for this to get the traction that it probably deserves. 
And so much of these movies, I feel, do the limited release first. And then if that's successful, maybe they go and they do, yeah. I guess, a wide release or whatnot. It's just, it's sad in a way um, because you're right. Like you, you assume that'll happen, but it's not the case. I, th- I think for a, f- a small film, like an indie film to do well, even now, um, it just needs so many variables to hit. Right, and then once it does, you know, it um, can do really well. I mean, like I, I was on, I was on Letterbox, and Letterbox is it's a three point eight, which is very respectable, very mm-hmm. very respectable. And so um, eighty nine on Rotten Tomatoes, it's uh, sixty five on Metacritic. Yeah, all really respectable. Yeah, so the sixty five, I I can understand why people don't love it. By the way, like it's also very much like I think a me thing, but I I just wanted to sixty five for a horror movie on Metacritic is really good. Yeah. And I'm looking, I was just, I wanted to see the reviews by, by date here. And a lot of folks, yeah, like it'll vary to be honest with you. So maybe it is just me, but, um, I had a great, great time with it. 